so I read recently that iCloud, a large percentage of iCloud is based on AWS is in, you know, Apple is like super big on privacy. Do you know why Apple would choose to um, go with Amazon as opposed to building their own uh, like data centers? Is it like, is AWS like that good in terms of like, like I know it's yeah. good, but. Yeah. To, to, if, if you look at, you know, what there's, uh, you've got, you've really got, I, I always talk about mainstream in, in many countries, there's three main brands, right? It's, it's Google Compute, Amazon Web Services, AWS, and Microsoft Azure. And what they've built, and Amazon's got a head, had a head start, right? Because of the scale, they, they built that out for Amazon, right? As we know it, the Amazon storefront. And instead of um, just hosting with someone else, they built out their own infrastructure and that led to them and I'd argue by accident, creating Amazon Web Services because they realized, well, if we can do this for ourselves so effectively, they build their own kit, by the way, as well. If you look at Amazon, Amazon data centers, the kit in them isn't IBM or HP, it's Amazon. They build their own equipment. So they own it, they own it for the, the stack. And they've created the, another opportunity for themselves, right? They, they, it came off the back of the Amazon storefront as we know it. And through engineering and building to support that growth, they realized, actually, we've created another opportunity for ourselves. So the reason other vendors are going there is, do you really want to invest and reinvent the wheel and try and create, why not just use something that exists? And they're not the only ones. Lots and lots of major vendors, you know, from um, Salesforce, Oracle, or in the industry are turning to the likes of AWS and saying, look, We'll, we'll, we'll move our stuff onto you. You take care of that because you can do it more cost effectively because you've got such a scale. Would Google be second or is Microsoft the second? My, I, typically, my experience in the, in the cloud sector, you, you tend to see AWS and Azure usually um, the, the commonest two that the average business looks at hosting at. And then a lot of application providers um, look at Google Compute. And as I mentioned, you've also then got other players like Alibaba out there uh, in the Asia Pacific region. You've got Huawei, who've just launched a load of cloud services and building up their own hosting. Um, but I always talk about the big three, right? The magic, the, the Mike's, MAG, Microsoft, Amazon, Google. And there are three commonest names that come up. Um, and then you've got around that lots of other hosting companies that are still big, like Rackspace, and then other localized around the globe hosting firms that have a niche that they address, but the bulk of the market sits with very few names. It really does because they, they offer for, for generic hosting of applications, they offer a scale and a price point that it's difficult to compete with. It's just economies of scale, right? Is the future going forward? Cause I thinking of like IBM and how they kind of lost mind share. I don't know if that came with other people scaling up with new tech or, or what, but obviously like people now don't really think of IBM as a, as a giant firm as they used to. In the future, is there a tech that will eventually scale down Amazon's power from having that scale? Well, one of, one of the challenges in, in the industry is not tying yourself into those platforms, right? That, that, that's the challenge, because once you go down the Amazon route, it, it was always purported to be agnostic. That the, the dream state was, you choose which you choose one of them to, to, to post on, but then if you want, you can easily switch to another one. And it's not that easy, unfortunately. So IBM bought Red Hat for a, an extortionate amount of money, um, and they're reshaping themselves as the, the easiest description is, is an abstraction layer. So i.e., that they're, they're looking that what they've built is a way that you can build your application on. Um, the, the, the IBM platform that they've got there, right? um, OpenShift, and, and that will sit above AWS or Azure or Google. So you can create your application, code it, and that abstraction there means if you later want to re-platform it and say, well, actually, we don't want to be on AWS, we want to be on Azure, it's more portable to do so because you've coded to that layer in between as opposed to directly to AWS, et cetera. So I think what we're seeing is a lot of legacy vendors repositioning themselves and trying to readjust around what's happening in cloud. We've seen HP doing that with some of their storage options and trying to re-engineer and come out with new uh, 
new offerings that more address what's going on in the cloud market. Um, because what the reality in, in, in the industry is businesses are going to be um, two things, hybrid and multi-cloud, right? You, people like to think, well, we're going to standardize on one platform. But large corporate organizations will have some Azure, some AWS, some Google. So there's going to be a mix. And that's the, that's the world that, that everyone's realized we're evolving into. So there isn't going to be one winner. You're going to, you're going to have to deal with um, a new complexity. Cloud solves a lot of problems, but it introduces new ones. You know, it's just moving into a different, wor a different world of, of computing.